So in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to render products in a studio scene, and we're going to cover how to create a studio environment, how to render using V-Ray Interactive, and we're going to look at some of the post-production tools within the V-Ray Frame Buffer. And if you haven't already, make sure you download the resources for this lecture. So having a 3D studio is great for testing materials and rendering products, and it's a great way to show off your models and start building your online portfolio. So there are a few key elements for this. We have our backdrop, which is essentially our studio, and then we have three lights and a product to render. And then I normally use a main overhead light, and then I use lights either side to soften up our image and add highlights. So let's take a look at how we can set up our own studio scene. And the first thing we need to do is go to the render settings and change our render engine to V-Ray. For this demo, I'm going to use this bar stool, which I used in a recent project. And if you have your own model, then now is a great time to use it. And if you don't, you can always download my model from the resources. Or if you're using V-Ray 5 and above, you'll see Chaos Cosmos and you can open that up. And there's a large library of furniture here. So you go to 3D models, furniture, and you can download using this blue button here. And once that's downloaded, you can always bring into the scene using this green button, and that will bring your object into the scene. And once you have your model downloaded, just go to File, Import and Merge, and then head to where you downloaded your model and hit Open. You can click on your model and hit OK. You'll see that that's been brought in.